and about some ideas that we could use to change it. When I was given the opportunity to speak to you all this morning, I wanted to make you laugh because as a speaker, you can make your audience laugh. It's just like this big weight is lifted off you and words flow better and it just makes things so much easier. But I'm not going to make you laugh this morning. Because bullying is not something to joke about. Those kids out there that are being bullied today, they're not laughing. It's not funny to them. It's not something that they're simply going to brush off. I'm going to start by telling you a little bit about what bullying is. And I have an article that I read from the Washington Post that says bullying is defined as any repeated negative activity or aggression intended to harm or bother someone else, perceived by peers as being less physically or psychologically powerful than the aggressors. There's two things I want you to remember in that. Physical and psychological. They're not as powerful in those two ways. Bullying is not just physical, it's psychological as well. It messes with your head too. It messes with how you feel about yourself. According to pediatric nursing, bullying is the physical acts of bullying are actions causing physical injury, such as hitting, punching, or kicking, even shoving, taking money, lunch, or homework, taking or damaging the belongings of another person, engaging in extortion, which is obtaining something by means of threatening, embarrassing by snapping the bra, lifting the skirt, or pulling down the pants. It's hard to imagine that someone would even do that. Some psychological acts include using insults, name calling, or threats, humiliating or spreading rumors, shunning or excluding, slamming books, gesturing, or setting one person, person against another, such as saying, you can be my friend, but you have to get rid of them. Those are all acts of bullying, and we should recognize them, because it's not just physical. I'm going to move on to tell you about how it's affecting our youth. Instead of just constantly reading things, I decided to take things into my own hands and conduct a survey. And I surveyed 100 students. 55 of them were females. 45 of them were males. I surveyed them from Lakewood Career Academy and from Northwest Career and those are all on the Clover Park Central College campus. If you look at your packets right now, you can see on those the results. Of the 55 females, 22 were victims. One admitted to being a bully. 17 were both a victim and a bully. 15 were neither. Of the males, 16 were victims. Two admitted to being a bully, 11 were both a victim and a bully, and 16 were neither. And what's even more astonishing is if you look at do you believe bullying is an issue in our public schools, the females, 50 of them out of 55, said yes. They're in schools today. They know what's going on. They know it's a problem. Of the males, even the majority said yes. I say yes. I'm still in high school. My ninth and tenth grade years, I, I was bullied. I was called fat, a lesbian. It made my years terrible. It is an issue. According to Mental Health Weekly Digest, childhood bullying was significantly associated with violence, heavy drinking, and marijuana use at the age of 21. This occurred even after controlling the prior risk factors meaning it just came from bullying. 